All right, Shalom, I'm Mike. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to tie this lesson their safety in the light. Because this truth is is also known as light. You know why? Because we're seeing things through, uh, you know, prophecy, which serves as a light. You know, so now uh, through the Spirit of Pahyah, Bashman Shah, you know, having his word, uh, you know, now we seeing the, the dangers before us. You know, the, we were fore, foreseeing the evil. And now we're able to hide ourselves, you know, to, to uh, put on the armor of Yahweh Bashem and, and uh, so we were able to withstand the evil day to come. But it's the light, you know, this word, that, that's the beginning of it, man. So matter of fact, let's start off with this in the book of Isaiah. Uh, Second Peter one, Second Peter one verse nineteen. It reads, "We have also a more sure word of prophecy." See, yeah, because this is, uh, you know, these sayings are faithful and true. You know, Yahweh is that faithful witness, which this book uh, embodies. You know, our Lord Yahweh tells you that's one of his titles, the Word of the Most High. So these things are faithful and true, it's sure. And we seeing uh, these prophecies uh, taking place upon the planet Earth. And, you know, it's getting everyone undivided attention now. But it continue on, it says, Warren, too, ye do well that ye take heed. See, so that shows you that this comes with a sense of urgency. And if you take heed, you will do well. You'll be preserved. Why? It said, as unto a light that shine up in a dark place, see? Which a light serves to, to, to uh, you know, show what's before you. For example, on a car, you got headlights. So now you can anticipate the danger ahead, whether from it's something as a, a stop sign coming up to a damn deer coming across the road. That light. Uh, taking heed unto that light, it will preserve you. It says, until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. <clears throat> We're just going back. It's safety. It said, you'll do well if you take heed, if you uh, pretty much cleave unto this, man. Going back to, uh, I quoted earlier, let's get that in the book of Proverbs 22. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3, it reads, A prudent man foresee of the evil. See? See, you see the prudent man, that prudence, that wisdom, you know, this understanding is, is, is compared as a light as well. You know, this truth. And it, it foresee of the evil. What is what's that in on the book of Wisdom of Solomon? I believe, let me grab that. The eighth chapter. Let's see. Yep. And this is what you get when you uh, uh, acquire wisdom. Not just any wisdom. The wisdom knowledge of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. This ultimately will lead to uh, life. You know? This will lead to uh, your pre preservation, man. Wisdom Solomon 8 and 8, it says, If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old, and conjecture of right what is to come. See, so having his wisdom, and she is that wisdom. And having her, you're going to have a feel for history. And, and within that, you can object the right, you can project a right what is to come, meaning the prophecies, man. And as you can see, starting with the pots and elders on down, uh, you know, we ain't here in Great Millstone. We're conjecting a right what is to come through the spirit of Pai Yahweh Shah. 
Because the Lord has given us this light, which is this truth, man. Right? And what are these things that are that's being projected to come? Uh, the MOTB. You know, all hell break loose. Jacob's trouble, the money crash, the uh, World War Three. And as we see, as we get closer and closer to the perfect day, those things are becoming uh, more and more evident. But that's through seeing things through the spirit of prophecy. It says, she know of the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark sentences. Yeah, because those are where the secrets lie. Which the secrets are the prophecies. When you go on to Amos, the third chapter, the Lord revealed his secret to the prophets. So that lets you know the secrets are the prophecies. Oh, when you read Daniel, the second chapter, I mean, yeah, I believe, yeah, Daniel, the second chapter concerning the statue. That was a secret, but it was revealed unto Daniel. You know, was that's a light? Oh, it tells you that also at Daniel that the, the Lord, the uh, matter of fact, let's get that real quick. I'm going to go back. Let's get that real quick. Going down to Daniel, the second chapter, Daniel 2. You, know, you could pretty much start at like, like I said, like 19. That said the secret was revealed unto Daniel. But um, this Daniel 2 and 22, it said he revealed the deep and secret things. Which is the, the prophecies, which is what was the deep and secret thing uh, with the statue. Which we still in that dream now. We in the, the feet part pretty much now. Why you think Nebuchadnezzar was so sore troubled when he had that dream? You know, that was a deeper secret thing. Why? Because it was it gave pretty much a, a, a gauge, uh, you know, a rundown. You know, the, pretty much those last four major kingdoms before the kingdom of heaven is established. You know that you know we got the uh, we in the pretty much the feet part. You know that the revised Roman Empire. Well, that, the Lord revealed that. It says, he knoweth what is in the darkness. See, meaning what? In the future. See, even uh, tomorrow is in the dark. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But even five minutes from now is, is, is darkness. That's concerning the future. It says, and the light dwelleth with him. And that's why the Lord, he the one that dishes out to the prophets. To prophesy, to blow the trumpet, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Jerusalem known as the candles, you know, the churches are known as the candlesticks, you know. We said the light dwell with him, meaning the, the understanding, the knowledge, the intel about tomorrow. The Lord got that, and He have given it into His men, the prophets. By the way, of this wisdom, that I said, she, she know the subtilities of speeches go back to it because those are what are those prophecies are it's like a coded message but with wisdom you know light has been shed upon these things so going back wisdom silent 8 and 8 if a man desire much experience she know of things of old and conject of a right what is to come see she know of the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark senses. See, so with having this wisdom, pretty much you'll be able to shed light on the dark sentences. Was the dark sentences is 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 all prophecy, man. Those parabolic, you know, sayings and it's prophecy within that, man. And having this wisdom, uh light, you know, you shed light upon those dark sentences. That's why I said she foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of season and time. See, so having this wisdom, pretty much now you can uh, foresee the, the signs and wonders and the events, you know, of season and time. And we know that we're in a time where the Lord's about to overthrow this man violently. And Esau, it tells he know he had but a short time. So he's going to he's gonna fight tooth and nail. To keep his head above water, man. But that's why the Lord has given us this truth. To serve as a preserver, you know. 
going back to that, that Proverbs 22. It says, Proverbs 22 and 3, a prudent man foresee of the evil. See, he's prudent because he's been accompanied with the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Because the wisdom of uh, knowing how to switch a mode out, they don't give you the ability to foresee or, you know, a college degree. Those different forms of wisdom don't give you the attributes of foreseeing, you know. But this wisdom, which we read in um, Ecclesiastes 9, chapter, Solomon said this, this wisdom is the greatest wisdom. When you read about um, concerning the poor wise man that delivered that city. Because he had the wisdom of preservation. You can have a million dollars, but if I got a wisdom to live, I win. Because eventually you're going to die and that's going to be my hundred million. You know? But it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. See? And that's what we're doing in the prevailing of the Lord. You know? This is the safe house. It says, but the simple pass on and are punished. So as you can see, the two extremes, you got the prudent and the simple. And it's wisdom, you know? It's through wisdom. And like I said, it's not any conventional wisdom. It's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Yeah. It's like Proverbs 2, verse 10. It reads, when wisdom entereth into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. So yeah, when, when this word is on display, and you receive it, uh, it with a joyful spirit, you know, it says, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee, see? That's why safety with, uh, with this truth, man. Safety in the light. You know? This is that safe haven. The, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of you. How about Shema Shai? You know? Why? It says, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. <laughs> from the man that speak of forward things, see? Because this man, he's, he's going to have these different draconian laws to be passed. To put more pressure down. Like I said, he even know that he's about to. He's about to uh, come go down. He know that he have but a short time. So he's going to he's gonna sign different laws. He's going to bring forth his military. You know, everything corner, he's going to throw at you. That's why it's going to have to take the spirit. To overcome this man through the spirit of power, you have by some outside. But it says this wisdom is what's going to contribute to it. Oh, what it says, wisdom not shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Yeah, because this truth is what's going to determine our decision makings, you know, and things of that nature. Matter of fact, because this is what's going to guide us, you know, this word. Where it says a lamp. Matter of fact, let's get that. We'll wrap it up with that. The book of Psalms 119. And uh, it's like yeah. Psalm 119 and 105. It reads, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. See? So, and, cause, cause guess what? At the end of the day, when all hell break loose, everybody outside of this truth is going to fall apart. They're going to be in darkness. I tell you, the day of the Lord is going to be very dark. And no light in it. So there's not going to be no hope no, in that day. Uh, if you're not in the house, pretty much. If you're not in the light. You know. But having the truth is going gonna, is gonna to light our path. You know. Because certain, you're going to have, the, you know, these different decisions going to be made based on the doctrine, man. And it's gonna be safety in that, cause guess what? It tells you that with the discretion and understanding is gonna keep us and preserve us, man. So there is safety in the light, which is this true. So yeah, I can I just hold it with edifying. I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham Racha, Kordash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that sees word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba Baba. Soon, very soon.